Okay, okay. don't mind my... Yeah, I'm done with today. Um, okay, so Shorty Metal. Um, <clears throat> I already have one in, so I'm going to show you how to change it without changing it. All right, so to pull them off, to pull them off so it's going to be in your skin like this, to pull them off, you want to peel up this side. You want to peel up a little bit of this side. You want to grab it and you want to yank straight up. If you yank sideways, this metal piece is going to rip the hell out of the inside of your skin. And trust me, it hurts a lot. Um, <clears throat> all right, so that's how you take them off. Um, when you go to do your second one, you can use this same tubing if you're not changing your reservoir. Um, I change my reservoir like once every 10 days. So I use the same solute Cortef in here for 10 days and I've never had a problem. <clears throat> so what I do is I disconnect this piece here. Okay. So to do yours, you would connect this piece. Grab my piece. I would connect it if I were starting fresh. I'm not starting fresh. So I connect this. <clears throat> so to fill just this section of tube, um, because mine's already felt, um, the rest of it's already full, I'm going to do a bolus. I'm going to do a manual bolus of five units. Um, I think you could get away with three, but I think I like, I always like to do five. <clears throat> just so I know that there's no air in the lines and it's working. Um, so deliver bolus. There we go. There's the sweet nectar of the gods. All right. So now we have it in here. I flick it to get all the extra crap off of it. <clears throat> okay, now with the metal ones, you do not have to fill them. You don't have to fill the cannula once you put it in, all right? So these are super easy. Um, first, we're gonna pick a spot. Um, I use my belly for these. And yeah, you see, see all my extra lovely skin now? Um, it's pretty disgusting for sure. Hey! You evil little troll. Go to your homework. All right, so we've cleaned an area. Oh. Three. I can't believe it just like rolled out like that. Let's go back. All right. <clears throat> so for this, we're going to take these plastic pieces that are right here. We're going to fold them up. So we hold them like this. There is no inserter for these, right? So we're going to pull the paper off. We're going to pull the cover. Um, I always make sure that the needle's straight. Sometimes it can get a little bent, but I want to make sure that it's a straight 90 degree angle, right? pull the cover off and pick a spot and one two three bloop you just push it right in and you're good um this is the second sticky to make sure that you don't actually rip the metal because when you rip the metal like I said it flipping hurts so I always stick this one up here and uh that's it you do not have to fill the cannula um, because it's already filled because it's metal and we're good to go. So we just do that. Okay, but filling it is the same way. You would just, if you're just connecting it normally, so just make sure you hold it straight, hold it by those things, push it in. When you take it off, you're going to slightly peel up one side of the paper slightly peel up the other side, grab them, pinch them, and pull straight up. Otherwise, you're going to bleed and it's going to hurt and it sucks. 
right? I'm glad you got them and I promise you they're gonna make a world of difference, right? Good luck.